article has mocked Festus Keyamu. It says your law degree is useless. Throw it into dustbin. Okay. Uh, article mocks Festus Keyamu as court dismisses suits. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Atiku Abubakar, has made mockery of the immediate past Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Keyamu's law degree following the defeat E. Keyamu suffered at the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja. Frank Shaibu, special assistant on public communication to Atiku, stated this in Abuja while asking Keyamu to throw his law degree into the dustbin as it was nothing but useless. Recall that Kiyamu had, before the 2023 general elections, written a petition to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, the Code of Conduct Bureau, and other anti-graft agencies in the country to arrest and prosecute Atiku over alleged money laundry when he served as vice president under former president Ulushegun Obasanjo. In a statement made available to newsmen on Monday, Atiku's postman, Shaibu, said the court said that why Kiyamu was eager to satisfy his paymasters. He did not wait to wait for up to three days for the EFCC and other agencies to act on his petition, but hurriedly filed his suit before the court, seeking an order to mandate the agencies to act on his petition. But it was gathered that on Monday, the presiding judge, Justice James Omotosho, dismissed Kiyamu's suit on the grounds of incompetence and thereafter awarded a 10 million era fine against Kiyamu. According to Shaibu, the judgment was clear, clear evidence that the former minister was only playing cheap policies. He said that Kiyamu's incompetence has been confirmed by Justice Omotosho. One wonders how he was elevated to the rank of senior advocate, despite several clarifications that the allegations levied against Atiku were trumped up. Kiyamu refused to listen to reason. Shaibu further stated that uh, rather than act like a refined lawyer as expected as a senior advocate, he decided to act like a political jobber. Now he has been disgraced before the entire world. This was a man who served under the le legendary chief Gani Fawaimi. What a shame. He noted that Kiyamu's latest defeat was not surprised given the fact that he had lost many high-profile cases in court while he was an EFCC prosecutor. Shaibu added that when the jobless former minister was filing the frivolous case, we informed Nigerians that he would lose. The prediction was in line with his antecedents as a failed EFCC prosecutor. Today, we have been justified. He was the EFCC prosecutor against Governor Simpri Siva, but he lost the case. He represented the EFCC against Femi Fanekayode and lost even the case he instituted against the Lagos State House of Assembly during the Tinumbu certificate scandal. Uh, Kiyamu didn't do better. In the case of former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Dimeji Bankole, in which Kiyamu was the lead prosecutor, it also ended in another abysmal failure. Kiyamu made a name for himself by constantly filing frivolous suits in order to entertain the media. He needs to throw his law certificate into the dustbin so he can face his job as a social media influencer. <laughs> These people too, everybody they make much. Anytime justice uh, favors you, everybody will come out and begin to do, you know, say all of these things. The same thing Kiyamu always do when judge a uh, case, you know, favors his party. One thing I just uh, get from this whole thing is that uh, this Kiyamu that uh, fight this whole thing against uh, Atiku, one day too now, you hear him, ah, Atiku is the best man. Atiku is this, Atiku is that. And that was why they just gave him all those positions at the federal level, he quickly grabbed it. And the same man, because they know get sense, he still came out and told us that uh, the position he had was unconstitutional. And people are telling him to pay back the money since he knew that. Why didn't you say it from the beginning if you have the so-called integrity? So, with uh, this old thing, Kiyamu has really disgraced the, the title of a senior advocate of Nigeria. People don't even regard him as anything. The worst part of it, to me, there are a lot of petty things that that you are not supposed to be seeing somebody of his caliber with the title they gave to him as a SAN to be involved with. But you see him, some petty, some unreasonable things because he's playing policies. So we are not surprised. Mm? Senior comrade, for the first time in a very long while, I agree with you that uh, Kiyamu should throw his certificates into the bin. Activist under Chief Ghani turned sweeper. 
Yes, is a senior advocate of nuisance. Ex Governor Uyetola of Oshun State defeated the present Governor Adeleke in the first leg. I wouldn't say dig deep because of removal of data subsidy. Okay, tell Alaji not to jump for joy yet. The rector of the Institute of Kujie is still compiling admission this. Okay, uh, this is the first time I have to believe you, Atiku Abubakar. He first us already know that he is Pako San. I have never seen somebody like him. Very unreasonable. Kiyamu is a son that has never won any high profile case. People are always saying this. Oh. I thought uh, maybe uh, they are just trying to shade him or trying to you know throw jabs at him. But it's like that is exactly what has happened. People are always saying that this guy has never won any high profile case. And that is the reason why if he cannot beat them, he joins them. And that is what is playing out. Kiyamu is a son that has never won any case. Fesos is Jankara's son and he... Same time, food is ready politician. Mr. Tiku, you are right on this. This is a town hall different from Bala Blue. Are you sure that he wants law? He went to law school. I have said it before, and I will say it again. That if you are waiting for me to say it again, remember that I said it before. Kiyamu is a sand paper. That is why he's desperate for relevance under Sinumbu. Yes, so seeking for relevance. I think you don't take. Came flock Kiyamu where we I analyzed the photos and I discovered two important details. Where article is seeking attention with face uh, face of Kiyamu's name, hmm. Kiyamu gain him. You see, most of them lower courts to supreme courts. Only God can save Nigeria. Sandpaper. Anybody trying to defend the PC will end up disgracing his or herself. Fools everywhere. For instance, Kiyamu is son who has never won a case, a single case before. Mm. Not single case. He was the minister of labor without a notable achievement, and APC is employing, empowering him tomorrow. The same people empowering APC now, with their votes, we blame the devil for not allowing them to achieve anything in life. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. <laughs>